Hello everyone, I'm here for another video. One of the most common questions I get is about how I make my soap labels. I know there are so many ways other soap makers label their own soaps. I've seen boxes, tissue paper, shrink wrap, and pouches, but this is the way I like to label my soap. I think it's very simple and cost effective. Everything that I use in this video, I'll link it below in the description. If you're new to this channel, my name is Yesenia. I am the owner and creator of Siren Soapery. Please hit the subscribe if you want to follow along. Now let's get started. So here we are in Avery. Right over here where it says choose template, you're able to see all the different sizes and combinations there are. Okay, so since I couldn't find what I was looking for, I am just going to choose an existing label and I go back to choose a design since it's the size that I'm looking for. And as you can see, there is so many design templates. However, I like this one here, so we're going to go for this. As you can see, you need to zoom in and out in order to see your design in full. You have to move around your design so you're able to see where you're going to be adding your text and such. Okay, so adding a text is very easy. You just hit the add text box. You need to make sure everything is highlighted in order to change the size and the font. For all my labels, I already know that I use the font Georgia. The size can be a little bit different based on what I'm typing. This here is the ingredients. It's just going to take a little bit of time to type all of this out. Okay, as you can see here, I just have to resize everything again so it all fits. Now, to add my logo, you do have to upload a file into the app. But once you upload it, it stays on here on your account. So you're able to use it over and over. You don't have to upload it every single time. Now, I do want to use my logo a little bit more, emphasize it a little bit more. So that's why I'm changing this label a little bit. Next, I decided because I want my logo to be the center of attention for this new label, I decided that the scent and all of the soap information is going to be on the side of the bar instead. Now, a cool feature here is that you choose any template that you want and you're still able to change the colors a little bit. However, I think I liked it better when it was brown. When you're all done, you're gonna save and you're gonna name this project here so you can always go back to it. And now you're gonna download as a PDF. Now that you have this PDF, you can share it with your printer. Okay, here's the very basics of what you'll need. I have white cardstock in letter size. It is pretty thick, which helps a lot with durability. Then I have this double-sided tape by Scotch. It lasts a very long time because you just need very little bit to seal each tape. I do have this paper cutter by Cricut. Um, however, this is optional. You can always cut with the regular scissors. It just goes a lot faster if you use something like this. I wanted to show you the printer that I use. It is an AP OfficeJet Pro. Um, since I made that extra label, I do want to try it out first. So I'm just going to use regular plain white paper because I don't want to waste it on the card stuff. And the reason for this is just to test out if the placement of the logo and the ingredients and all of that go perfectly onto the bar itself.
that's it for my soap labels. I hope this video was helpful and you found it entertaining. Please hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe. I also encourage you to follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post all my soap making videos and making up other products.